Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do this makeup look. I wore this makeup in one of my previous videos and I got so many comments asking if I could show you guys what I use and how I create this look. I also love this look, it's one of my favorites and I feel like it's fairly easy for beginners. Anytime you guys ask me to do a makeup look on something that I am wearing, I try to do it for you guys. I know some of you guys like makeup videos and some of you don't, but I wanna make sure I do some makeup videos for those of you that do enjoy them. And specifically for those people who asked how I do this makeup look, I wanted to make sure that I did a video for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into how I do this makeup. So I have already filled in my eyebrows and I primed my eyelids with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in the shade Fair. The palette that I use for most of this look is the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe and this is the Dark Magic palette. And then the only other palette that I use is the James Charles palette and I just use this green shade right here. So I just start with a super dark black shade. I'm gonna go in with Temptress right here and I'm just taking this on a dollar wet and wild brush. It's just kind of like a flat brush. And I start by just packing this all over my lid. And I definitely would recommend doing your foundation after you do your eyeshadow with this because you're gonna get a lot of fallout because you're using like very dark eyeshadows. And so if you get fallout on your cheeks, it's harder just to wipe it away because it is like black and dark green. So basically what I like to do is just kind of carve out just where my lid is. I just kind of carve out my crease right here and just kind of make a half circle and I just go back in multiple times to make sure the black is super opaque. So then I go in with a smaller fluffy brush. It's way easier to blend eyeshadow if you have a smaller brush, which is something that I just recently learned. So I'm using the JH40, but literally any small like angled fluffy brush will work. This just works so much better to blend small areas versus going in with a super large brush you're gonna get more of like a blend all over and this is way better for like precise blending and building up the colors as like a graduation. So the color I'm gonna go into next is Inside Job. It's like a very dark forest green and it kind of has a little bit of a blue undertone to it. So I just take a lot of this on the brush and then I just go along the outside of that black line I just pack this on outside of the black shadow. And basically this is what I do for the whole look. Grab a green shade, pack it on, grab the next green shade and blend it out. Gradually blending from darkest to lightest green. Now I'm going in with this green right here from the James Charles palette. So now I'm just gonna pick up Potion right here. I'm just gonna blend out the darker green a tiny bit more. And I'm going in with this vanilla shade up here and I'm just going to blend the green out into my skin tone. I'm just creating a gradual effect, just blending everything out so that way you don't see the harsh rings of the different colors. I'm just trying to make sure everything is blended out really nicely. I'm going back in with the green from the James Charles palette and I'm just smoking this out a tiny bit more. So now I'm gonna go back in with Inside Job, which is a super dark forest green. And I'm just gonna pick this up and I see a little bit of a disconnect right here. So I'm just going to use the dark green to blend the two shades together. I'm gonna go back in with the black and just deepen the lid one more time in case we lost any of that pigment. Here is the eyeshadow complete. I'm gonna go do my base makeup and I'll be right back to finish under the eyes, do inner corner highlight, and do lashes. So for underneath the eyes, I'm going to go in with Inside Job and I'm gonna blend that out into the green shade from the James Charles palette. And then I'm gonna go in with black eyeliner and put that on my waterline to create the black to light green gradient. So I'm just gonna bring it all around, starting with Inside Job. And I'm using the exact same fluffy brush I was using earlier. And I'm just going to bring this around and under. Now picking up the green shade from the James Charles palette and I'm just gonna blend that out and around. For inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here from the James Charles palette and I'm just gonna pop this underneath my brow. 
I am going to add some winged liner just because it makes it easier to apply lashes. I'm just gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is my favorite eyeliner I've ever used. For lashes today, I'm gonna be wearing my Makeup A Murder Evidence Marker for lashes. All right, eyelashes are on. Here is what the eyeshadow looks like. A lot of people wanted to know what lip shade I was wearing in that video also, and I was wearing Jeffree Star Crocodile Tears. To outline my lips, I just use a NYX lip Lip liner. This is in the shade natural. This is just always what I use no matter what lip shade I'm wearing. It just helps me to like define where I'm going to fill in my lips at. You could just wear the crocodile tears on its own and it would just be green, but I like to darken up the outer lip a little bit more. You could use black and ombre into the green and that would look really, really good, especially with the eye look. What I like to do is take a darker brown tone lipstick. So I like to go in with Dominatrix and I just like to go around the outside of my lip and kind of feather it in just to like mud it out a little bit. And so that way it's not all just bright green. So here is the lipstick. It just darkens it a little bit and tones down the brightness of the green. And I just think it matches the eye look a little bit better toned down. Here is the finished eyeshadow look. This is one of my favorite looks to do and I feel like it's so simple. You don't have to worry about trying to do a cut crease or trying something different. It's very easy just to pack on shadow and then blend it out with a small blending brush. It doesn't take a lot of time to do. It's like something you could do very quick, but it looks like you put a lot of time and effort into it. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. I